Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into our school. We've got a really great demonstration planned for you today, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. What is the topic of this one? Equisetum. Equisetum. It is a really, really cool material, and it can add so much to your designing. This is one of these neat little things that if you just add a little touch of it here and there, it can do so much. What is Equisetum? Well, Equisetum is this stuff. Equisetum also known as horsetail. Look at it. It's beautiful. Generally runs two to three feet in length. It's green. It can be bent. We can bend, twist it, do all kinds of neat things with it. We consider it a foliage, but it's architectural, meaning we can come up with all kinds of shapes and things with it. It is an truly incredible stuff. We can get it throughout the year, and we can do so many different things with it. And in this brief demonstration, we'd like to give you an idea of just how much fun this stuff can be to play with. For example, let's take a look at our arrangement. We've got a typical arrangement here and our staff has been very, very busy getting this stuff ready for you and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. It's a beautiful design. It incorporates roses, some yellow roses, some uh, orangey yellow roses, some alstroemeria. It's really, really pretty. It's got some aspidistra leaves down there. Now look what you can do when you start playing with your equisetum. We can take some equisetum, make them into different shapes, we can incorporate them into our design and give a totally different feeling to it. Very, very simple. Just because of this great stuff called Equisetum. Look at it. Isn't that incredible? With just a couple of pieces, look how that transforms this arrangement. Look, we can take it and we can play with it in other ways too. Here's another example. In this particular case, here's an oval. Isn't this beautiful? This is an oval container. It's done in water. And we've got here, again, our aspidistra leaves here. We've got a nice combination of materials here up on the top. We've got some pink roses, and we've got some alstroemeria here, and a little bit of our status mixed in here and there. It's a pretty design. This is a very, very contemporary kind of feel to it. And then, of course, to add to it, notice again, we've taken some of our equisetum, and by placing the equisetum in here at the top, notice how that gives just a nice little touch, a nice little flair to our design. Isn't that cool? Here, here's another idea that you might want to consider when you're playing with this stuff and we think it's pretty cool. How about taking our Equisetum and instead of just placing it inside the design, how about around it? Yeah, that's right, around it. If you look very, very closely, what we have here is a lovely, lovely arrangement, something that could be worked very nicely as a centerpiece. It's a design in water, and we've got equisetum that has literally been placed all the way around it. You can glue it on, you can tie it on. It gives a really, really pretty effect. And again, we've got all these beautiful roses and some baker fern just emerging from this container. But what makes it really interesting is the design treatment, the container treatment. And that's another neat thing you can do with equisetum. You can take it and use it to treat your containers to make them feel new, funky, and different. But wait, there's more. Let's play with this a little bit more. And let me show you another great idea. Because again, our staff has been working very, very hard to come up with some neat ideas incorporating Equisetum. Look at this. This is a very, very pretty linear arrangement. But if you look at it carefully, again, you see some nice things going on here. You see some hydrangea. You see some orange roses. You see some of our fall colored leaves here. Uh, but notice. The Equisetum, it gives us height, gives us shape on it, and of course, the little triangles work through here. It really makes it feel very, very interesting. Now, this is a, a medium-sized container, a medium-sized design. Let's take this and play with it on another level. Here is the big guy. Ta-da! Equisetum can be played on a wide range of scales. Once again, you notice here, you've got a lovely linear design. It's pretty, it's interesting, and yet <coughs> it incorporates a wide variety of things, our hydrangea, our roses, and then an equisetum infrastructure here and there through the design. So notice that we can go from very, very large to small and still come up with some very, very interesting things in terms of our equisetum. Isn't that cool? All from one kind of material that can be used and added in our design work. Of course, 
I'm not going to let you guys leave our demonstration or leave our classroom without making something. And so if we're going to be talking about the joys of Equisetum, then let's play with something and actually make a design incorporating some Equisetum into it. And I'm going to start off here, of course, without the Equisetum. And I'm going to use some of my hydrangea. Doesn't take much. I'm going to take a few pieces of hydrangea, work one here, work one in here towards the front. Hydrangea really covers very, very well. And notice how I can come up with a cool effect very, very quickly. One over here, and then one over here, so that I can come up with something that's kind of interesting very, very fast. Let's take a rose to give ourselves a little focal point. And then let's add a few more things to it. We can add in here some of our alstroemeria. Place a few over there. Place another little bit of our alstroemeria here. Over in the back, you're probably wondering, when is the equisetum going to be used? Well, we haven't forgotten that. We're going to use it in a second. And then let's take another little bit of our alstroemeria and place it over here and over here again so that we have a nice little composition of all kinds of things. But now here comes the fun part. Hey, the fun part is let's take and incorporate some of our equisetum into it. And you can see, my viewer, that we can take a piece and place it there, place another piece in over on this side here, and then work another piece of our equisetum over on this side here. And with three pieces of equisetum worked into this composition, notice how it really affects the design and makes the design feel very, very different. So I hope, my viewer, that you've enjoyed this. We want to thank you very much for coming in and visiting with us at Rittner Floral School today. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. You've seen in this demonstration how we can take a very simple design element such as equisetum or horsetail and by using it and incorporating it into our designing we can come up with all kinds of really, really neat and interesting effects. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us at Rittner's Floral School. We hope you enjoyed this and come back and visit with us again soon. For, for all of us here at Rittner Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. I thank